Hey guys, Jared with Dallas Finish Toys here live from the 2018 New York Toy Fair. We're here at the Bluefin booth, which is a, a great distributor and, uh, and retailer of some of the coolest action figures in the world from all over Asia and other places as well. We carry a lot of this in Dallas Finish Toys. You can find it on our shelves. And uh, we're going to show you some cool stuff from the booth. Some of the stuff you have seen, and a lot of the stuff you haven't. And we have one of their PR, uh, one of their PR managers here with us, who's going to sort of take us through everything. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at everything you want to see from Bluefin. All right. So, what are, what are we kicking off at? Hey, everybody. My name is Jared. I'm one of the brand managers at Bluefin. And, awesome. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys some exciting stuff that we have on display at Toy Fair this year. What do you got? So, right now, we have um, we're looking at strong collectibles. Storm Collectibles here. Yeah, these guys are known for being the premier video game manufacturing company uh, for some of the coolest products uh, out there right now. Uh, this is the Street Fighter 5 license. Um, we're looking at Ryu. Uh, we got Ken in here. We got M. Bison, Sean Lee, Van Geef. Um, Alex right here that we're looking at is one of the, the newer releases that's uh, coming out next month. Great. Um, this case is designed to show you guys just how awesome the posing options are. I mean, yeah, you know, super articulate. Yeah, exactly. Street Fighter is all about, you know, like, really dynamic, you know, action scenes. And with Strunk Weapables, we're actually able to do that, as you can see here, with all the effects parts, the stands, et cetera, et cetera. I so I see a lot of these say sold out. Does that mean that they're, like, limited run, or what's the deal with those? Yeah, so a lot of these um, are currently sold out of our inventory. Okay. Um, Strunk Weapables will typically do a one production line, and that's it. So we encourage you guys to get your pre-orders in from the start so you don't miss out. Otherwise, you may have to pay, um, you know, extra pricing. Some of these we just got in. Um, I don't Reptile, so you want to do a one. Yes, I think we, we just got in Reptile. I think we just covered him on our, our last week's show. Yeah. Um, something that your, that your viewers probably be really interested in is like Goro right here in the middle. Has Goro ever been shown? He has been shown before, but um, he hasn't ever been offered um, a pre-order yet. But now I got confirmation that Goro will be up this year. This year, so Goro's coming. Yeah. So look how awesome he is. I mean, he's, oh, he's awesome. He's just grappling these ninjas right here. That's your Mortal Kombat 2 Goro right there. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, look at Shao Kahn. Yeah, Shao Kahn is actually coming out very soon. Shao Kahn looks fantastic. This is the completed product right here, and we have him with the throne, which he also oh, comes, he com with. comes with the throne. He does. That too. Um, you know, because Shao Kahn's always sitting there, you know, badass, watching the fights go on in front of him. This is an awesome fatality right here. Oh! Oh! Pull his head out! Yeah. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, so, I'll show you guys some of the new stuff right now as we okay. go this way. <laughs> so, so, what about, what's, like what's fresh and new here? So, these are brand new licenses for Storm. This is King of Fighters. This is Rudolf Bernstein. He's one of the um, end, end bosses, I believe. Okay. And, um, you know, Storm is basically continuing on with their typical video game prowess. You know, they've, they've demonstrated their expertise with um, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, and now we're, they're continuing on with King of Fighters. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, as we make our way over to the right, we've got a very exciting license. We have Tekken 7 here. Awesome. Wow. And your viewers are probably familiar with Heihachi. This is coming out next month. And brand new on display at the Toy Fair is uh, Kazuya. And then this is just showing um, another color option for Heihachi. Um, it's still undetermined when, you know, in what way he'll be released. But uh, Kazuya will be a, a standard release, so he's next in the lineup. That looks great. Yeah. Sure. And then finally, we have over here um, the Dark Side and Logo from the Injustice video games. These are just prototypes right now. So that's why they're they're gray, and they will be action figures. Um, typically, you know, most manufacturers will start off with Batman or Superman, and then the villains never get any love. But some collectibles decided to do the reverse and do um, the villains first. Oh, love it! That was pretty cool. And these guys are gonna look awesome once they're all uh, painted up. Fantastic! Yeah. Is that uh, is that uh, Mike Tyson over there? Yeah. Hiding behind the logo. With, Wait a second. Uh, that, uh, one small scale Mike Tyson. Now is he an injustice? He's not in the so. <laughs> He might be, the way they're going. Yeah. Look at that. But um, you can see that he has a really incredible likeness. That's comes fantastic. With heads. And even the belts that he comes with are actually a fifty license. Unbelievable. It's a Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson. You can have so many cool fantasy uh, battles with these <laughs> with totally these figures. You really do it. He can even be a makeshift Dalrock in the meantime. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
Great. So, what else uh, you got? Let's go this way. So I saw many, many. Oh, so here we have um, this is Flame Toys. This is a relatively new company. Um, I just got the Flame Toys the drift figure. Drift, and I just got them. In. All this is in the box. And there's so much stuff in the box, I'm not, I'm not even sure where to start. Because, yeah. you know, I had the stand, you have all the disposability, you have the little lights and everything. And yeah, like, it really has all the bells and whistles. Yeah, he just came out, ordered him last year when they were as announced. And I think I just got him a week or two ago. And um, I was shocked at how detailed it was. Me Please, too. Are you guys making more like this? Absolutely. So, you, you know, as you mentioned, we have, we have Drift that just came out. And like you said, the, the disposability, the details in him were absolutely phenomenal. Um, but yeah. He's already sold out. He's done. He's already sold out yeah, already. You either got one or you didn't. Yeah. So if you well, uh, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you can still have a chance to get um, newer releases, which are in the shelf above here. Look um, at that. Look at the detail on this guy. This is Tarn. So is that approved? Yeah, this is all approved. So you'll be seeing him next for pre-order. Um, and then we have Star Saber. Now, um, you can just, even though it's a great prototype, you can totally see all the details just oozing out of these guys. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, and just like Drift, they'll have uh, tons of uh, articulation, the die cast, the LEDs, all that. And it's going to be another phenomenal uh, release in this one. I love it. Um, one step up is actually something really exciting for you viewers. Uh, this is the first time we're showing these. These are the Transformer model kits. So model kits? These are model kits, yeah. So um, this is what you see when they're completed. Uh, they do not transform, if your viewers are wondering. They do not transform, unfortunately. But, but they look amazing. They look amazing, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Fantastic. So um, there's no glue required. Oh, they snap together. Like, they just snap together, and they're pre-colored. And then if you want to customize it, you absolutely can. Now, I saw this war machine here, and I need this in my life. Because yeah. I'm the biggest war machine fan there is. Really? Yeah, well, I got it all. That's awesome. But I don't have that. Well, let's take a look at it. Is this out yet? This is already out. Henry, add it to my tip. This is the Sentinel re-edit line. So this is, these are based off of the comics. So, you know, a lot of manufacturers these days are doing Iron Man based off the movies. Of course. But, um, you know, this is a little bit unique because it's actually based off the comics. Yeah, I like it though. So we got Iron Man War Machine. We got the Iron Patriot, which is my personal favorite because I just love that he comes with a shield. We got New Century Iron Man. There's so many. And you guys have spliced into your own toys and wired them up to be per to get, perma on. Yes, exactly. So they, don't, they don't come out of the box that way. You guys, no, they typically, little, little, little trickery. They, they typically will use uh, batteries. Yeah. But for, you know, for the duration of the show, we want them to be lasting. So we uh, bring them up to a, yeah. a Soap Studios uh, reactor. <laughs> Um, and yeah, these basically the poses in the shelf just show you just how awesome they are. They basically replicate like a comic book cover. That's fantastic. Yeah, so you got all different kind of armors. The whole cluster is a really impressive piece. Beautiful. Yeah. I love that you guys are doing the uh, comic book versions of that. That's Absolutely, awesome. Yeah. Over here is something exciting as well. This is a new product that is actually out right now. This is called the Sentinel Superhero Illumination Gallery. Okay. Uh, and the way these works, the way, the way these work are, it's a little mini figurine inside of an acrylic case, and as you can already see, they light up upon motion detection. Oh, so when you walk into the room, they all light up to greet you. Exactly. Very neat. So um, that's a, that's a pretty cool, and they're only twenty five dollars, so it's not even a bad price point. Yeah. Pretty attractive. Great. Um, so yeah, that's for Sentinel. Okay. Um, as you guys can see, we have a pretty large booth. Yeah. Dragon Ball Yeah, we got a lot of Dragon Ball fans. <laughs> this booth is huge. Yeah. Spared no expense. Yeah, we worked really hard on this booth. So, um, it's great. This is the uh, Bandai Hobby Dragon Ball Figure Eyes kit. Yeah. Uh, these are really amazing. Uh, they just started producing these last year, and you can see they've already, they already have quite a lineup. Um, already, it's already released. So we're looking, we're looking at Super Saiyan Gods and Goku. Oh, yeah. Full articulation. Gohan. 
Henry loves to take these and display them in the case just like this. Oh yeah. Yeah. He. I think Henry has a lot, a lot of time uh, posing them and uh, you know helping us sell them, but uh, he ends up setting them up and having a blast. The volley trigger is a really impressive piece. Oh my gosh, it's great. And in, in addition to the um, all these figures, they also do vehicles too, which we'll see down below. We've got the same space pod and the freezer hover pod. Wow. So that's pretty awesome. Outstanding. And they also have some uh, little vehicle kits from Dragon Ball. You know how they always have those vehicles on yeah. the manga covers? Yeah. That's what these are. You guys, you guys went all in on this. Yeah, they really did. Awesome. This is from Bandai Shokugan. I'm not allowed to show that. Oh, you're not allowed to show that? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Top seat. Got you, fam. Got you, fam. Got you, fam. Perhaps we can show these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no problem. So, this is some new Gunpla stuff? Yes, these are the new model kits from the new anime that's coming out. What can I not see? Uh, Gundam Build Divers. Awesome. Build Divers. Yeah. So every uh, year, um, there's a new Gundam uh, anime that comes out, and of course there's you know new kids to accompany it. So these are new kids. Very nice. So this is great for any of your uh, hobby collectors out there. Great. Yeah. A few more over here. Perfect grade XDS. This one lights up and everything? It does. Oh, man. It's not right now, but oh, man. Absolutely can. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay, he, he saw me! Yeah. The motion detector, what is that? <laughs> How did that happen? It's a wire. It's a fright. No, it's a, some, somebody did something. I don't know. That's amazing. He comes on randomly. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad we got to see it. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, we did actually. What else we got? Uh, we have the Digivolving Spirits right here. Digivolving? Yeah, so from Digimon we have the Digivolving Spirits. So as you guys can see, uh, they have the uh, transformation mode. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty neat. Great. Put them over here. This is very cool. This is a new for your fans. Uh, wow. There's a new Batman Ninja anime coming out very soon. Batman Ninja! And so, there are new figures for them. We have the Joker and the Batman. Wow. Which are anime, Japanese inspired uh, attire. It looks fantastic. And these will be out in May and June. $50 retail. Alright. Uh, this is giving you guys a better look at the, uh, the, the Justice League. Very nice sculpts. And then there's the new uh, Catwoman uh, to accompany the um, Batman that just recently came out for the Dark Knight Rises. Great. And that part as well. Uh, this is actually really exciting. This, this was just unveiled at Toy Fair. Hey! We have uh, unhelmeted sculpts of the Power Rangers. Yes! So we got uh, Tommy and Jason, and we also have the Solar Shigokin Dragon Zord and Megazord. Very nice high-end items. The two can be combined to form their uh, their alternate modes. The oh my gosh! Dragon Zord in battle mode and uh, Ultra Megazord. Fantastic. 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 Uh, we'll make our way around here. You guys ready for some uh, aircraft carrier? I can't. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I'll tell that. a B2 bomber that you didn't have some. <laughs> So, These Pacific Rim is coming out next month. Yes. And with it are... New toys! New toys. So, Bondi has the license for a host of new um, products. So, these are the model kits. Yeah. Uh, there's an optional LED unit available, as you can see. Gotta have it. It's pretty cool. This is our very high-end... Oh, my gosh. Philip uh, Chagokin line. Is this a model, or is it just coming so, out of the box like this? No, this, is, this just comes out of the box like this. It's not a model kit. 
It's a die cast figure with LEDs, very heavy, very articulated, very high end. A really impressive display. I like Those, the boat, he's got the boat. Yes, so these are based on the original movie, the first picture of the movie. That's great. Yeah. Uh, this is a new line, the Sophie Spirit. These are uh, made to complement the robot spirit Jaegers, which we'll see in a second. Okay. So these are the Kaiju, and then over here we have the Jaegers. So these are just hitting stores right now. <laughs> Um, and they have a very um, attractive price point at twenty and thirty dollars. Gypsy Avenger is meant to be, uh, you know, an entry level item, so that's why he's uh, marketed at twenty. Awesome. Um, I'm sure you guys have some Dragon Ball fans. Oh yeah, we got all the Dragon Ball fans down for this toy. We're saving the best for last. Oh. So here's the uh, the Dragon Ball display. We have. Oh my goodness. We have here. Super cool. Awesome. So we have, um, you know, all the, all the usual figures, and this is some of the new prototypes. So we got Master Roshi, we got Master Roshi, Shenron, Goku Black, we got the Frieza, the Dimension, the Super Powerful, the Kid Bill, we got Bulma. Ready Player One display. You know, Ready Player One is coming out. Are the Ninja Turtles going to be in it? Uh, I think they have a cameo in it. Yeah, Are you kidding you know, me? Everything you see in here uh, we've, that we spotted, the staff has spotted a little cameo. So we wanted to show everybody that we have a lot of products that coincide with the movie. Even King Kong. Even King Kong. <laughs> That's a much older release. He's, he's hard to come by nowadays. Fantastic. Well, awesome. You know, there's so much stuff to, to, to show, so much so much neat stuff, but, um, you know, Bluefin here, you know, they, they bring in a bunch of stuff. They deal with a lot of brands, and they're one of our, our great partners at Dallas Series Toys. So uh, if you see anything you like, just let us know in a message. Obviously, we can order it for you. We want you to shop local. Um, Dallas Series Toys is your source for the best in pop culture collectibles and vintage toys. We buy, sell, and trade open six days a week, just not today, not on Monday. That's why we're live from the Toy Fair. So... Jared, thanks so much. Appreciate you. you. My and uh, and everybody, thanks for uh, for watching our coverage here from uh, Toy Fair 2018. More to come, and uh, thanks for having fun with us and hanging out. Dallas Finish Toys. We're here at the McFarland Toys booth inside the New York Toy Fair 2018. Uh, they're going to show us around some of the different stuff that they got coming out. Some of the stuff is already out. Some of the stuff that you've seen sort of the end of 2017. Some of the stuff we've never seen before just a couple of days ago. So uh, we all love McFarland. You love McFarland too. And uh, we have one of their great brand representatives here uh, to take us through everything and see what's coming up next. So what do you got for us, Ryan? Let's start with Five Nights at Freddy's. That's one of our hottest properties. It's done really well for us over the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, we do several different price points. We do everything from micro sets to, to large sets, you know, 300, 400 piece counts. It's like little dioramas. It's, uh, it's construction, building bricks. Okay, so you, can you connect them all? Absolutely. You build it, it, oh. comes, it comes disassembled, you build it, you construct it. Same with the, the figures as well. You know, their heads pop off, their legs pop off. Awesome. You know, that's a terrifying game. I'm actually, I'm actually a little scared. Yeah, I know kids I, love when, it, but I, I don't like when, jump scares. So. I don't either. When we first signed the license, I wasn't familiar with it, so I had to download it and play it on a plane, and it, it, it freaked me out. It was creepy. And they're on like their fourth game now, so like, oh, it's yeah. very successful. It's very, very successful. Okay, cool. And they just announced a movie. They signed Chris Columbus. Are you directly. serious? Yep, with oh. Blumhouse. So that's pretty exciting. That happened right before the show. Cool. Next, we've got Hello Neighbor which is another jump scare-ish kind of game. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but essentially it revolves around you play as the kid yeah. and your neighbor is up to something bad. You don't know what it is. Oh. You're trying to break into his house and solve the mystery and figure it out. Okay. And the game's got this smart AI where it knows what you, the neighbor catches you. It's bad news. You start over. But, uh, but he learns your play pattern and adapts to it. So you can't Ooh. do the same thing more than more than a couple times if he gets wise. It's a really cool AI system. So none of this stuff is quite out yet. Uh, no, this will be coming this fall. Our stuff will be releasing in October. Cool. Like, the game is already out. Uh, right. The video game. But 
we're going to be doing action figures, you can see, and construction stuff. Great. Because the game revolves around this neighbor's house and secrets and stuff, so it really lends itself well to building okay, sets. Okay, he's outside the window in the back. It's like looking in. Like looking in. Yep. Cool. Um, South Park and Steven Universe. These are also construction sets. You can see the studs there. That'll give you a good idea okay. of how it's put together, how it's built. This we launched uh, in 2017. Uh, Steven Universe was a Walmart exclusive launch and will be going wider this year. And then Rick and Morty, uh, yeah. Adult Swim. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. My personal favorite license we have was because I love the show. Um, And these are construction as well. Absolutely, yep. The Ricky Mortar Seal is still going strong. It's going very strong. I mean, it's, it, it exploded this year. I mean, they launched the uh, debut season uh, three pilot online. It yeah. was a surprise. It, it broke the internet for a little bit. Brought the session one back. <laughs> it sure did. It actually, it actually happened. Oh, the, the fish one stuff. So, so these are already out. I've seen some of these at some stores. Yes, these are right? already out. We've we've, we've released a product from Tokyo Ghoul, Naruto, Attack on Titan. Um, these are already at retail, and we have new figures coming later this year. Okay. So, when you guys release any of these, are some of these exclusive or uh, to a specific retailer? Is that some of you guys? Exclusive? Yeah, we do exclusives quite a bit. I'll mm -hmm. show you a couple. We've done some Destiny exclusives. Yeah. Um, with anime, we have a ton of them exclusive to any specific retailer, but. Yeah. They're in GameStop, they could be found in Walmart. Well, I was just on the finale of that. I'm having like a great yeah. Apparently, I always wondered why, like, are they sure the studio audience? Like, I was, you know, watching this thing after the show. I got into it a little bit. It was just kind of funny guys. This, and um, this we released you know, last fall. This is the, the Iron Gallagher pop replica. Two benches. It, it was a game like exclusive. It wasn't numbered in terms like of like the quantities, but yeah, it was, um, a, it was a holiday game style exclusive. Very, very, very tiny. But um, stuff that have like in the case destinies are really cool for interest. Yeah. 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 And prop replicas. A friend of ours has this that he was bemoaning that he had been playing for the year and couldn't get one. And his brother played like a first season. And I think my best one. Is there a real game spawn? Yeah, there's, there's yeah. they're very hard to get. Yeah, you get one, you're lucky or you're really, really good. One of the two. Star Trek is new for us. We'll be launching these in the, the summer. Look at this that. Year. Look, at, look how great the card looks. Yeah, they really nailed the likeness. Um, and with with a, with a show that's still filming, sometimes like Walking Dead, we have the luxury of going to the set and scanning the actors. So we do a 3D scan. Do you guys have some sort of proprietary process or special scanners that you guys use? Yeah, there's scanners. I mean, it, it, we've got it down to where we only take about 15 to 20 minutes to scan an actor. Oh, they kind of appreciate that. Yeah, it, it used to be a longer process. But when you do a classic show like this, our sculptors really have to do it by eye. And they, they did a really good job on Star Trek. So we're starting with uh, Kirk and Picard, and then we're going to have some Discovery figures uh, later on. And a phaser prop. Replica. It has light, sound. Nice, and the price point's good on that too. It's 30, 34 dollars Yeah, it's a good value for what you're getting. So, any, any new stuff here with Walking Dead? Yeah, this Daryl, this is the first time at 10 inch Daryl, is a new new Daryl based on uh, season 8. Nice. And that'll be coming out this fall. The paint looks fantastic on that. Is that a pre production model or is that a production model? This is a prototype, but that's okay. what it will look like. Because it looks amazing. That's like, can it really look that good? Like, oh, is that, that one hand painted? Did you look at that Negan right there? That's yeah. That's production. It's just as good. The dare, I mean, the, 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 the shading on his pants and, uh, you know, the, the wrinkles in the fabric of it just look really, really incredible. Yeah, we try and keep it very, very true to show. And this is some new stuff here? These are coming out right now. This, this six-inch Rick Grimes is going to be coming out in the fall, and yeah. the Daryl will be coming out in the fall. This this Negan is just hitting retailers right now, the 10-inch. Awesome. And then yeah, the Lucille Roleplay Bat. Yeah, we have these for sale at the store, and uh, people love them.
Yep. If the response to that was fantastic. I mean, that's why we went back into the bloody version. Take it like a champ edition. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit around the office and like, what do you call it, guys? Take it like a champ edition? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. No real. So is there anything in this that's case that was never seen before? Yeah. Something like ago? No. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of just a... Yep. Oh, are there? Yeah. I'm sorry. How dare you, Jeremy? Sorry, let me just force my manager to don't freeze over my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, look at the medieval spawn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm on a new spawn movie. Is that going to happen? It is going to happen. The reason that Todd is is because he has a high level of casting meetings. Oh. Pretty A list talent that I can't name. Nope. That's fine. So, but, yeah, it's, it's so a, normally, you know, he, normally he would be here himself? He, he often comes, yes. Um, but yeah, he's partnered with Bloom House, so it's, it is full steam ahead. Look at the blood coming out there. That is too cool. You got Shiva, and you got a walker, and you've got the blood coming out of the walker there. That looks fantastic. Can you get a high and shoot down on that one? Oh, yeah. Looking great. Get your Stephen Curry. Okay. He barely lost last night in the nail hammer. Tom Brady? Yes. This is already in stores. This was this was an exclusive um, that we did this year for, for Target. Cool. Oh, and Jack, we got Jack back there. Absolutely. Got Prescott. Got our man Jack. Are the Punk 11 figure that you see here in the second and the, uh, the Ghostbusters 4 pack is a uh, New York Toy Fair exclusive reveal here for you guys. And um, I guess those are coming out later in the year. Yeah, they don't have like. Oh, come out in the fall. These are way early. Obviously, you guys are able to do the uh, like thing with Sony. You know, I saw the yeah, we had samples of these. I'm sure they were. When I saw them, I was like, what is it? Yeah, they are. The package is So, what's the We've already yeah, released the original uh, uh, so these are all coming this year. Okay, so the Mike and the Will are new, are, are new as well. And the upside down Will, is, 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 is upside down in the package? Absolutely. <laughs> and if you get a zoom in, you can see the one standing in front of it, you know, he's got the grime from the upside down and it's got a different paint job. Upside down Will. So it's going to be a variant and it's going to be packaged upside down. So get, get a really good look at this Ghostbusters 4 pack. So this might be one of the coolest things in the entire booth right here. So you're going to get all four figures, and it's a co-licensed deal uh, with Ghostbusters. So you got you got McFarlane, you've got Netflix, you've got Sony. You know, there's like a bunch of different licensors and, and sort of powers at play here to make this come together. And uh, he says uh, they're, they're not quite sure on the price yet, um, but knowing McFarlane is going to be affordable and get a lot of value because that's sort of like their thing, right? High quality at an affordable price. And, uh, and he says it's going to come out in the fall. So we won't be seeing these uh, in the store probably for a while. Uh, but as soon as they're available to order, you better believe we'll have plenty of these coming to Dallas Finished Toys because that's how we do you. But the mic, he says, never before, before been seen. And, and that just figure looks great. And uh, Will and Upside Down Will, <laughs> who comes upside down in the package. 
that's just that's just too much. And then you got D Dustin and Dart too. And that's also just been revealed, I guess. Correct. Awesome. Love the box. You guys did such a great job on the box art. Everything sort of cohesive. Thank you. Yeah, we tried with the packaging to really capture the spirit of the show. Yes. You, know, um, you even see our McFarland Toys logo is our original old logo from when our company was first founded. We went back and made it uh, it's retro. Been, yeah. Yeah, the show is all about, you know, 1984, yeah. so we wanted to do that with our packaging. And, and Great. <laughs> That's awesome. And we do a lot of little details. If you look at, like, in this Ghostbusters 4-pack, the, the ghost trap comes with a baby dart. Oh, there's a baby dart inside. Yep. <laughs> those, those little kind of, like, action figure Easter eggs that we put in our sets that the collectors really like. Fantastic. Well, obviously, I have to have all of these. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. So here, some video game stuff. New first look, Call of Duty, this show. We just announced that we signed this license. These are going to be coming out this fall. We'll have a figure line and assortment. It'll be a little more than just these two, but this is what we can show right now. These are what they call legacy characters. Soap McTavish and Ghost have been in several of the Call of Duty games uh, throughout the franchise's history. And this 10-inch Lord Shaft is also the first time that we've been shot. The detail is fantastic. Looks like it's like real leather, but I guess it's, it's all... It's, it's all, all plastic it's on that all figure. Plastic. Yeah, if you see the, the one behind him, you'll it's get a better view the on the outside. But the Lord Saladin has real fur. Everything in the booth here this year at the New York Toy Fair here with our friends at McFarland Toys. Guys, uh, you know, Dallas Finished Toys loves McFarland. We carry a lot of their stuff, and anything that's new from McFarland, you're going to be able to get a hold of right here at Dallas Finished Toys. So thanks for watching live. Thank you, McFarland. Thank you guys for letting us into the booth and let's come in. And uh, we'll see you later. Stay subscribed for more updates here from New York Toy Fair 2018. I'm here at the NECA booth, uh, and as you guys know, uh, NECA is basically one of our favorite retailers. Uh, that we have. They make some of the coolest stuff that we sell in the store. Uh, and we're going to get shown around the booth here and see some stuff that no one's seen yet. Uh, just some of the stuff's only been out for like two days, basically since the, the Toy Fair started. So we're going to give you a sneak peek and some stuff that's coming on later on in the year. And we're really excited because we're going to have all this stuff available um, at Dallas Free Toys for you to purchase. And we definitely like you spending money. So what do we what do we got here? This is so exciting. All right. So for Mindy, uh, yes. working dogs first. So Ooh. Is, uh, 
first figure in the line. That's uh, Laura Moon. She is the wife of the main character. Um, the uh, <laughs> she's in it's, trouble. It's, she's in trouble. It's based on the scene where she actually, spoiler alert, dies and okay. to like save her husband. Okay. So we expect after her we'll do, we'll continue the line, but it's a good iconic. Look at the throne that has the queen head built into the back of it. Oh my goodness. And I've got the red queen and the black queen. Yeah, yeah, yep. Both, right? yep, and we had already offered this one, but we're looking at everybody to look at it completed right now. So these guys are brand new. These are the arcade two pack based on the side scrolling video game that came out before the movie. Did. Amazing. So even uh, Dutch looks like Arnold, but isn't Arnold? He's based exactly yeah, that is on not the TV show. It's not, not Arnold. But it it looks like Dutch. Um, and then these are we announced these guys earlier. Um, these are the Predator set that goes with them. Okay. Uh, you guys have already gotten all the information. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So, so, yeah. cool. look, at, look up there. Look at that. In progress, uh, sneak peek. No oh, horns. Hey, 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 hey. Here we go. Wow. Detail. <laughs> okay. All right. One of the big guys. Uh, Ultimate Elder. Ultimate Elder Golden Age. So we did an Elder a couple years ago. This is actually based on the comic book of where he is younger, and he is running with a bunch of pirates, human pirates, back in the 1700s. Okay. Maybe, maybe 18. I don't know my the age exactly, but he's considered to be an ultimate edition. He's going to come with the different heads, all the different accessories. Awesome. Um, on these are yeah, these are incredible. These, yep. these are, I'm sure you guys make these in-house for fun, right? Yep, we have an in-house uh, diorama guy who does all of these. Um, Look at this. So this is series 13 of the Kenner series. So Look we've got the snake. The snake. This, is, got this the, is from the old school series. Right. I have I have all the originals. we got snake, we got scorpion, and we have the Kenner version of the phone. That way, when people say, Why don't we have him right now? I gotta Here buy him all. Go. Look at this. Henry, uh, Henry's watching live. Just add him to my tab, Henry. These are great. You know, it's it's funny. I, uh, I spent so much money down for these toys to make my wife sick. <laughs> Thankfully, she's never gonna watch this video, so she'll never know. But look, look, at, the, look at our ultimate Pennywise appearance. In the, in, the, in the balloon. Henry, I need this. So they get him nice and close there. So both be seven inch so, uh, so Tim, the Tim Curry one is the actual original size of the whole thing with all the different heads. These are the uh, San Diego Comic Con from last year. Uh, both sets, com both sets combined. Both sets combined yeah. on a custom diorama. And we're actually it looks like the arcade game. It does, and we're actually looking to release the diorama eventually. Please do. Not, not, Please not the turtles, do. but the diorama itself. You got two cells yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need that diorama, guys. Go ahead and hit that hit that like button. Let our friends at NECA know that they need to do that. We will start a petition. You need a change.org? Let me know. <laughs> we'll get that going. That is fantastic. All right, if you want to sneak in over here. Got the possessed flashy, so he's the second edition version. He's also from the TV show, but he is based on a yeah. later scene. Um, just a sneak peek of an ultimate gremlin. gremlin. He's not finalized yet, so we haven't offered him yet. But this way, everybody says, "Was there more gremlins coming?" Okay. Here you go. Uh, we showed Evil Dead previously, so we're yes. just bringing him out so you guys can see him again. They'll be coming out in Q2. Yes. You got the Henrietta, you got, got the Eagle Egg, all of that. Uh, yep. What is this thing? So these guys are brand new. Okay. So it's a big quarter scale. He'll come with the different heads, and he has to even let the, you can get the machetes into his head. And also in his hand, you can also do the same thing. It'll fit right into there. Um, I think it's the first quarter scale that we've done in several years. Awesome. So, and then the ultimate part two, Jason, with the two heads. Actually, it's not here, but he comes with a 
down the line during the rest of the year, we're looking at doing the song, we're looking at doing some diorama elements and environments for them to fit in. Um, and then there's another sneak peek at the very first figure that we were doing for the Del Toro line. The uh, Santa we announced him back at uh, Comic Con last year. Great. Um, the top. Top. So Crash Bandicoot, big new license. Uh, we started with the regular Crash uh, about two weeks ago. We started offering to you guys, um, and then we have down the line. We are announced, we're also going to be offering the deluxe version with the hoverboard, and then the jetpack is down the line. Each one has a unique head sculpt to it, so whichever one you prefer yeah. is what you can get. Kyle Marie. Um, Okay. And then we do in the re-release of the shell and the Gordon. Uh, people really wanted us to go back to Team Fortress, so we did ver uh, series three in red a while back. Now we're going back and finishing with the blue, so people can finish that part of the collection. And then series four, everybody's been waiting and waiting and waiting for. They're coming Q3 in the red, and then we'll do blue after that as well. Right. Look at look at this Deadpool up here with the. Uh Look at the head in the, uh, so this is, you guys already released the... Well, this is, uh, you've already been offered this, is the ultimate, uh, Deadpool. He's never shown it, though. Yes. Look, look, look at the, what's on his head, is that pizza, or what is that? It's not, this is, it's the cheese and pizza, uh, you got all the different accessories, you get the unicorn, you get the head, the, the hat, multiple heads, including... That's sweet. Amazing. One of my favorite parts is people who bought the original already know about this, but on the back of his gun, he's got a little NECA scaler. Oh. Little top secret. Yep. Fantastic. Got a God, God of War quarter scale? Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks fantastic. I believe you should be Yep. We'll be getting these. Yep. Seven inch two. Okay. Comic book Daredevil. So it's based on comic book, not only in that book. He just arrived, actually. We got, we got him a couple weeks ago. He's the second in line behind the original set. So it's his specific comic book line of, of uh, quarter scales. Great. Nice. Quarter scale? Quarter scale. Coming out just a little bit later this year. Uh, okay. And a new Quarter scale, Steve Yep, from Civil War version. Awesome. And he has the second head without the helmet. Great. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, but no. no, but this is uh, this is cool. Obviously, a lot of cool stuff coming uh, from from NECA, and what you guys are really good at, I think, is um, doing like the best value per dollar. So we talk a lot about about this, you know, with, with collectors, and like, you know, for the price point of these toys, for the weight, for the detail, for the quality you're getting, man, it's hard to compete. You know, uh, there's some other people that are selling figures smaller than this for three to four times as much as this, that, um, you know, they're, they're not necessarily more visually impressive than these are. I mean, these are just so much toy for dollars. Uh, characters popping up now, you know, we may not really see more attention here in the world, and we do have to make that. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much for showing us around. I think your dioramas are cool, too. That's sort of... One little thing, I think a lot of people watching will say, oh, I want those dioramas, but they're telling us all these are made in-house, so um, the NECA people, I guess, get paid to make the dioramas for the display purposes, but in the case of the Ninja Turtles diorama, they are, he said they're seriously looking at basically bringing that into production, so um, make your voices heard, party people, um, because I think that we need this in our lives. I'll show it to you guys one more time. Um, if you're looking over here, so this, this Ninja Turtles diorama here, for now, it's just for the show, but with, with your likes combined, this can be an actual production model 
in your house. And why don't you need that? Your wife will love it. Um, I know mine would love it. Um, this, this guy, if you guys haven't played the 1988 Konami four-player beat-em-up, um, these are Comic-Con exclusives. And uh, this sort of this level design, you know, the jumping up to get the pizza, this is right out of the arcade game. Super, super cool. So to see them displayed like this, I mean, this is what any collector would want to do. We need this. So NECA says, maybe, maybe this or a version of this comes out later. I think we need to, Pedro, we need to turn maybe into a, into a Jeff. Like one. right now. Yeah, like we need to, who can we... Like, I Where's the CEO? Yeah. She's like, he's behind us. Lower your voice. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, thanks, NECA. Thanks for showing us around. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> so it's just with your likes combined. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching. A lot of cool stuff coming uh, from NECA. And obviously, as soon as it ships and is available, uh, support your local toy dealer. Support Dallas Minish Toys. We love you and we love NECA too. A lot of great, great new fun stuff coming. And more coverage continuing here from New York Toy Fair 2018. I'm Jared, and uh, thanks for watching. Talk more. So which of these were just revealed or haven't been seen before today? Do we know that? All of these are brand new. Uh, yeah, these show? are all updates of the, of the classic, of the, you know, the familiar figures. And then the Mandarin and Mailer Jacket, Cross Bones, those are all first time I've ever and the uh, photo real technology is also in there. So you can see like uh, Robert Downey Jr. is super accurate to him, Chris Evans. When you get over to Paul uh, Rudd, and you really understand how how accurate they have been with express with like expression and stuff like that. Have you not seen them yet? Oh my goodness. And oh, you can also, if you want to like display this, when you're, when you're not, when you're tired of playing with it, if that ever happens, you can display it like a power fist or in any kind of. Uh, How'd you put it in display mode like so that? So this lock, this lock here comes in and out. Wow. So you can like, oh, I want to do maybe a piece of love uh, Thanos today. You know. So you just get your position and lock it from the outside. Yeah. And then if you want to, if you're walking through your entry room and you want to be like, oh, oh, look at my Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, but look what it does. You can press this center Infinity Stone. It'll light up and you get sound as well. I see. You can walk down. It's the always room. ready. Yeah. That's awesome. Brand new Ultimate Riders collection. First time this vehicle is in the Legend line. And of course, you got to bring out Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, Black Widow, of course. Black Logan. The build a figure wave. SPDR. Doc Ock is brand new in Legends. Especially in that villain series. Classic 90s wave. Apocalypse is the build a figure in this wave. And the 12-inch Legends figures are pretty amazing. They have, these have over 30 points of articulation, multiple accessories. These are the two available right now. Wow. You get that really real detail. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. guy comes comes out into the action in a nice action pose like nice. just like in the film you can imagine him growing and shrinking back and forth. I like that. Yeah. 
and the shit that goes along with it too that can shrink like that. And here's where you can see the, the Paul Rudd expression, I think, epitomizes how, <laughs> oh my how accurate that photo real technology is. But that's throughout all the movie inspired Legends figures. That's great. Yeah. Cool. Thanks so much. Yeah, and you guys coming around to Black Panther and Hero Vision? Uh, we're going to see anything that's there cool. We we're here for that. So, yeah. yeah. Th thanks so much. Good. Good smile. I mean, they're, it's our shooting, so. Yeah. We parched purples. It's so cool. Is that all for you? I mean, you gotta have every one of these things, man. They look incredible. Check out the rocket, the rocket launcher, the rocket launcher boombox, man. It's fantastic. Turtles are already out, bro. I don't think, but the, the villains, when are those released? Yeah, the turtles have been out. Types, yeah, all of them are out except for Kring. Look at this. Six scale Ninja Batman. Look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the size of this, this thing. It's incredible. And then we got, so you said Krang is unreleased? Yeah. So Jane, Krang's supposed to have come out this month. Henry, where's he's, my. Where he's watching. <laughs> where, where are these, Henry? Yeah, Krang looks fantastic. Um, it's uh, the Rocksteady, Shredder. You know, we got to have these guys. Man. Yeah, I've, cool. I've seen these. I think Bobak has these. Yeah, these have come out. Yeah. I mean, they've been around. I've never seen them in person. That's cool. Yeah, see the box down there. Good, good smile. Yeah. The villains, though. It's cool. Yeah, the villains do it. You know, they... It's crazy. Cool.
Well, guys, thanks for watching here coverage from New York Toy Fair 2018. Dallas Finished Toys here.